What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and I have just spent the most money that I have ever spent on a pair of sunglasses. I have just bought the Ray-Ban Facebook camera sunglasses and they have just arrived. I paid $369 for the glasses inside of this box and so in this video I'm going to unbox them, I'm going to show you what they're like, I'm going to give you my honest review and opinion of them, I'm going to tell you whether or not I think they're worth $369. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Got some security tape here. Oh, that actually looks pretty sharp. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so here's our box. And we got a little bit more material. Okay, first of all, Ray-Ban stories. How to safely package your return. Okay, interesting. So if we need to return it, I assume it just goes back in that same box and they even give you a little baggie for it. So that's kind of cool. Okay, maybe they're expecting a lot of returns, I'm not sure. Either way, here we go. Wayfarer by Ray-Ban stories. Pretty exciting, couple of pull tabs right here. Looks like the branding's pretty clean, pretty sharp. You've got the Ray-Ban Facebook on top there, right? You can see that right there. It looks fairly sharp. It's a nice little package, nice sleek little silver package. So let's open this up. It looks like we've got a pull tab right here. Boom, just like that. That was a good little pull tab. Throw that out. Oh, it's in there pretty tight. Oh, oh, there's a sticker holding it together. I gotta break that sticker and then pull this out. And there we go, okay. Ray-Ban Facebook branding again on the top. Pretty clean, sleek black box. There's the label there. And now it is time for the big grand reveal, the, the opening, here we go. Okay, <laughs> glasses case, there we go. Download the Facebook View app, so that's something that we're gonna have to do. And then for the first time ever, we now have a cable with our glasses. Okay, so we've got a reference guide, we've got a safety and a warranty, and then it looks like we also have a nice glasses bag. So that is all nice and good. With the cable, it looks like it's USB-C. Yeah, it is, USB-C to USB-C, so make sure that you have something for that that you can plug that into. And now it's time to open this up, so let's see what it looks like. Boom, and there we go. Look at that, nice black glasses. Pretty visible, like the, the lenses on here are pretty visible. There's usually that silver, silver notch on either side right there, but in these ones, you can pretty easily see the uh, the cameras there. You can see the lenses reflecting in the light there. They do look fairly sharp though. They look like a normal set of Wayfarer glasses. And I don't think I would notice, notice the cameras at first glance, but I definitely notice it when I'm looking for them, obviously. So let's pull them out of here. That was nice, nice little magnet attachment there. That actually felt pretty good. And they, they clearly sit in there pretty smoothly. Now, opening these up, first time, we've got some plastic on there. And at first feeling, I can tell you that this feels thicker than normal. This is definitely thicker than your normal pair of glasses. And that is what we are left with. Now, definitely a little thicker, slightly heavier than your normal pair of glasses. And on the inside, we have got a basically a switch right there. Nothing on the right side except for a button on the top and when you put them on I bought the large size I purchased the large instead of the standard size because I do have kind of a big head this is what they look like they feel like a normal pair of glasses they do feel just slightly heavier than a normal pair of glasses but they don't feel outrageously heavy it's not like overly noticeable you don't really notice that these are thicker um, so that is more of just an appearance thing than anything else I would say you don't really notice that let's download the app and see what we need to do here Power switch is that switch that I pointed out to you in the beginning. So that's your power switch on the inside there. It looks like B is your capture button. So this button here on the right side, right on the top there, that's your capture button. C is your cameras, so your cameras are in the front there. D is your touchpad. So there's a touchpad, that's interesting. Touchpad, it looks like on the right side. So this, this little space in here, according to the instruction manual, says that that's a touchpad. It says that there's also an LED, it looks like in the top corner right there. It has speakers in the back side of this, so that is cool. I should be able to talk to people 
through my sunglasses. That is one of the reasons that I actually bought this and I was so excited about it. And then G, it has, it has a microphone on the side here. On one of the sides here, right by the logo, is actually a microphone, it says. So that is pretty unique. Oh, there's another LED right on the inside there. So there should be a notification LED right there on the inside of your glasses, just on the inside there. So while this app gets set up, I am going to take this inside switch, this one right in there. It's got basically an orange dot. I'm gonna slide it to the right to turn it on. And now the orange dot is gone, the green dot is there. Oh, I got a white LED on the inside. So that is the LED that I was talking about, that one right there. And it says on my app, start by turning on your glasses and then it asks if you see that white LED. So we see the white LED, we're gonna click on next. We're gonna click on next again. We're gonna put glasses in pairing mode. Okay, so I have to put that switch all the way to the front again. It looks like slide and hold the power switch for five seconds and release one, two, three, four, five. And now that light on the inside of the glasses there is now flashing blue. So that puts me into pairing mode and my phone just found my glasses. So that is pretty exciting. We're gonna click on select. It is now activating my glasses. It's gonna ask to pair with my Bluetooth settings. And this is pretty cool, fairly user-friendly, no problems so far. So we are doing well, no issues as of yet here, but there's a little slot right inside there. And that is what they say is the speaker. There's one on either side there. It has a USB-C port in the back. So I assume that there's a battery in here that will charge your glasses while they're stored away. And then when you open it up, you can see right there, there's actually a couple of metal connectors and that is how your glasses connect to the case and so when you fold up your glasses just like this you can see those metal connectors on the end there on the bottom those match into the metal connectors in the case and it looks like that is how they charge and that is how they basically keep these things ready to go now maybe there's a trick to getting this back in let's see oh there we go. I believe I'm in on, but there is no LED light in the front corner there. So we'll just kind of have to see what happens. So let's try it out. I'm going to hold it down and let's see if it takes a photo. Okay, so that light came on, the light on the inside came on, and I heard a click in the glasses. That was actually really cool. Um, okay, and on my phone it says import your first photo. So let's go to import and let's see what that looks like. So let's see how long this is gonna take. We're at about, oh, it took about 10 seconds. So that's not bad. So here is the photo of my camera set up right now. That's the camera right in the middle there. It took about 10 seconds to get to my phone. That is actually pretty cool. Now the quality of the image, let's, you can zoom in all the way there. You can see the details on my camera and the screen. Like it's not bad, it's not amazing, but it's not bad for photo from your sunglasses onto your phone in 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Now what I wanna do is I wanna try and play some music on here because this is actually what I was really looking forward to. So I got the Tim Ferriss podcast going. Let's play some Adele. Let's go with Adele and her new jam here. Oh my God. I think it. oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Okay. Oh, it sounds good. I don't think you can hear this, but like this sounds amazing. And I don't have anything in my ear right now. Oh, this is great. Whoa. Okay, so I just hit play. I figured it was gonna play through my phone and then it played through the glasses, but I didn't realize it right away. I thought it was playing through my phone. And then I'm going to adjust the volume and it's different. And I'm like, oh, whoa. Wow. Okay, let's. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back on. I'm gonna double tap to play. Oh, that worked, that's cool. And when you stroke it, the volume changes. Okay, turning down the volume. Boom, there we go, I just turned down all of the volume. That is so cool, I love that. Boom, turn up the volume. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is so cool. Okay, I'm turning up the volume with a forward slash right now, a forward push of my finger, and it, like there's nothing there. You can't see that this is a touch, a touch location. Um, this is cool. This is cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, volume down, pause, boom. It just paused it on my phone, so that is really cool. Dude, I think just the fact that you can now take calls, listen to music, listen to podcasts, whatever you want through your sunglasses, 
and get that level of quality. That was actually much better than I was expecting. That's cool. That was really, really sweet. I could totally see that, especially if you're if you're a mountain biker. Like I think these would be the best thing in the world for a mountain biker. Like if you are outside and you're not wearing like specific goggles, like ski goggles or something, but you wear sunglasses, you need to have these because going on a hike or going mountain biking or going quadding, for instance, where you're not wearing like super like motocross goggles, but you're wearing sunglasses. This is the coolest thing in the world because you can play music, you can take calls, you can be alert, you can get alerts from your phone, and you don't have earbuds in your ear, so you can still hear if somebody's yelling at you from across the street. So I'm blown away, I like them. The build quality is plastic, so don't buy these expecting Ray-Ban quality kind of pieces and components. There's a lot, it feels like there's probably a lot of electronics inside both of these side pieces here. So it, it's made of plastic. It doesn't feel like it's super, super high end, but it does feel cool, pretty neat. And I think like people are very focused on these cameras here, but I feel like the real key to this is the speakers and the, and the ability and the touch screen here and the ability to interact with your phone through the sunglasses. I think that's actually probably the coolest part unless you're out like literally mountain biking. I feel like these are the perfect things for mountain bikers. You can record the entire trail going down the hill and you can listen to your tunes at the same time. It's just, I feel like it's the perfect application. So um, I'm actually pretty happy with them. They impressed me. They're better than I thought they were gonna be. I haven't tried out the video yet. We'll try that out. Let's try that out right now. And so one click here, boom, are we recording? Recording. So white light right there. We're clearly recording right now. I'm going to turn around a little bit up and down. Here we go. And now I'm going to push it again. So that means that we've stopped recording. I'm going to go back to my Facebook view app, processing the capture. So kind of like uploading a YouTube. Oh, it's done. Boom. Right there. It's going. It's playing. So that's cool. That is exactly what I just recorded. It is now on my phone. It went from these glasses to the phone there in literally probably 20, 25 seconds, which is pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. I don't know how many applications you're gonna have for, for that camera right on the front there. I actually feel like that's not the best part of these. I feel like the best part of these is the speaker and the touch and everything else you can do with them. But I'm sold, I like it, I'm impressed. So that's my review, that's my opinion. If you get any value out of this video, remember to click that like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one, thanks.